Bangalore is going the Mexican way. The IT city is trying its best to reclaim its garden city tag by erecting vertical gardens on its metro and elevated road pillars. So who all are responsible for this move and how will it benefit the city? Stacy Pereira finds out. China, Mexico and now Bengaluru. Vertical gardens seem to be an answer to help improve the city landscape, which has slowly turned into concrete jungles. The Via Verde project in Mexico, which went viral on social media, has inspired Bengalurians to do something similar. On a pilot basis, columns of the Nama Metro on MG Road will be adorned with plants to give commuters a visual relief, as well as help the environment. The idea was to grow plants. On, on the vertical face of the column. The first uh, column they have done, the agency has done the first column and it looks nice, it looks nice. And uh, now what we are waiting forward is to how to take it forward because uh, we want to see the response, we want to see the response of the people also and we want to see uh, the maintenance, the maintenance issues involved and all. And once uh, uh, we have really analyzed all these things, then a final decision will be taken as to how to go forward with with this concept. And it isn't just government agencies. Environmentalists and civic-minded citizens too have extended their support to the concept of vertical gardens. Say Trees, an NGO, has taken the task of converting all the pillars of the 9km stretch on the elevated corridor towards Electronic City. They have incorporated 12 different types of plants which will not only help improve the aesthetic value but will also provide thermal insulation and reduce smog and air pollution. This pillar has about 3,320 saplings. Uh, these saplings are being chosen uh, scientifically because each and every sapling caters to the environmental impact. For example, uh, these help us in reduction of the temperature. They are succulents. They absorb the particulate matter which is sent to the roots and it's decomposed into the nutrition for the, so uh, for the saplings. They are the natural air purifiers. People will slow down, they'll stop by, watch it, smile and go back. So that's one thing that I think we are trying to do uh, by installing this structure. Every little effort counts and here in Bengaluru, NGOs, civic-minded citizens and even the government agency is trying its best to make Bangalore the garden city it once was. With camera person Kumar, Stacey Pereira for NDTV.